What's up guys? Beaker here. Today I have screen pumps and um, yeah, so I actually recorded this like a long time ago, but I guess I deleted it on accident, so I'm just going to record it again. And this is basically what I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to So you can see the screen is pumping to the beats and it's very energetic and uh, makes edits look pretty cool. Now I'm not going to show you how to do this uh, with keyframes because that would just be really boring and that's time consuming and it's also very inefficient because what if it is uh, off sync or you need to change some values, you gotta change all the keyframes and it sucks. So if you haven't... Um, seen my channel in a long time or if you're new or whatever I actually made my own plugin well it's really a preset but uh, I call it a plugin I call it the synchronizer plugin and it's completely automatic so maybe a, I want the screen pumps to be uh, stronger so I just you know change one value where is it oh nope this one I can just change this to you know like 150 and now it's just like crazy big screen pumps and it changes everything and it's completely automatic and it's just amazing. Going to That's a little too strong but you, you get the idea. And cool thing is you don't have to use it for the scale you can use it for flashes. I have them right here and uh, you can actually link it up to virtually any, any effect you want. It could be twixter speed, it can be opacity of something rotation of something you know it's just this is one of my most uh, proud thingies I've done in After Effects so let me just show you the basics of what it is so um, I have a couple different versions but this one that you're going to be downloading is called Synchronizer V3 now to quote unquote uh, install it um, there are instructions in the zip folder but um, basically you put this into your presets folder in After Effects. You don't import it, just put it into the folder and it'll pop up here. So we're going to be using V3 here. And uh, just close some of these. Okay. So basically um, you want to link up the scale, right? So first thing you always want to do is find the speed of the song or the BPM here. First thing you always want to do. Now there are a couple apps for that on the iPhone or you can um, search it on Google. But in this case I know the speed is 128. Okay, once you know the speed you want to go to your audio layer, find the downbeat which would be right here, and then adjust the time offset until the red value up here, the main output, is at its highest. In this case it will be 100 so I'm just going to Play with offset value until you get to pretty close to 100. Let's see here. 92, 95. Come on. Let's see. 30, 87. That's going the wrong way. 99.38. That's pretty close. Okay. That's as close as we're going to get. So I'm going to use that. <clears throat> so basically, we're going to use transform because it's got the scale already linked up. I got tons of uh, expressions in here. Pretty, pretty proud of this stuff. Pretty sweet. And yeah. Anyways, so we'll turn on the transform. Boom. Now we just need to decide how high is the scale going to go. So the starting, starting value output offset it starts at zero, and then the range tells you how high it's going to go. So we can go up to 110 for the range, and that's just going to go. So if I kind of show you a picture here, let's see here. Sure, there we go. So it's basically a sine wave, and um, it's just going to go up and down, and up and down and stuff, and then, you know, the speed changes to the period, and then, yeah, so this is kind of like Algebra 2, if anyone's taken that, so um, that's why it's pretty useful. Anyways, so once you set up all those values, it should, um, you know, just go on forever perfectly. I mean, it might get off sync just a little bit, but it should be pretty good. Um, the overall output strength is essentially an on off switch so if you don't want it in the beginning you know you can go right before that hit keyframe the overall output strength go backwards a few frames set it down to zero percent and it will not screen pump in the beginning 
And then uh, it should go just like that. Boom, boom, boom. And I did give you a couple other effects, like instead of transform, maybe you want bulge. It's just a slightly different uh, screen pump. Now the values are pretty crazy, so uh, just change the range to maybe uh, 0.5. So you can see it's a slightly different screen pump. It's kind of warping the edges. You can probably also do this with CC lens if you know how to link it up. Um, <clears throat> I also have brightness and contrast, but it's not you know the best. I mean, it's just like you know. Meep, meep, meep. Um, if you want something custom, not built in here, let's say you have a, you know, just for example, a red solid. I don't know, right? And you want to link. You got to figure out what you want to link. So if we want to link the opacity of the red solid, push T for opacity. Go down to our synchronizer adjustment layer. Push E for the effects and go to output pick whip here. So what that means is we're gonna take opacity, hold alt and click on the stopwatch and link it to the pick whip here slider. Now it's just gonna copy all of these values and then this red solid will also turn on and off to the beats. So all automatic, completely awesome stuff called the synchronizer plugin by Baker. Boom! I don't know, I'm just really excited about this. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you're gonna use this, you know, uh, leave a like and maybe a video response too. These are perfect for any kind of songs with like a nice constant beat, um, dubstep, electro, like, I don't know. Anyways, if you have any questions on how it works, um, anything about the expressions that you're just curious, go ahead and uh, let me know. Or just uh, any other questions on, uh, you know, how can I set it up with my my thingy and the song? Yeah, let me know. All right. Anyways, before I keep on keep talking and stuff, go ahead and like the video, comment, rate, subscribe, blah, 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 and favorite and stuff. And I love you. And have fun. Okay, bye.